excuse me. Um, oh, yay, got this camera less blurry. Okay, okay, okay. So positivity and negativity. I already ended up doing a little video about this because I essentially like have to do first takes. So I'll use that for something, but I still want to talk. Positivity and negativity. What is, like, what is the truth behind these things? Like, like we talk about them or we think of them as like two separate things. Like, and anytime you give any, anytime you have labels, it's helpful, but it's also detrimental. Like if you have someone who's autistic, having the label autistic, it like, it, it helps people understand how to process the people that fit into this group. It like helps them have like a place whether that place is good or bad in society, like they like these are artistic people, like we like they have a label, like there's a way to process them. Whether it's the full truth of who they actually are, that's a that's not necessarily the case. Um, but anytime there's a label or a seeming understanding of something, it like. Or even if you think of, like, the LGBTQ community, like, how they have all these, like, like, it was LGBTQ, then it was LGBTQIA++. I don't know where they're at now, but, like, there's, there's kind of, like, finding identity in that group, and you can find, like, a place for yourself, um, and, like, a specific place, I suppose, and there's, like, I would, there were, there's, like, a comfort to that, or, like, a home to that, so it's, it's, it can be that as well, these labels, um, but it's not just labels, it's like, w like, it's like words, like, so if we, th if I'm saying positivity and negativity, what am I really talking about? Positivity is like good stuff. Positivity is... It's good stuff. Um, positivity is... I, good stuff. Like, and, uh, and negativity is... See, negativity for some reason feels like more of like... Like... Like a... I don't want to say a willful thing of the person. Like if I say negativity, like it's, it's something that someone's doing or it's like, I don't know if I want to say willful, but it's like, like, I, I, I almost don't know. How, like, I kind of don't know how to exactly say it because positivity, like if I say positivity, I, I almost feel like more or less that's like, it's a thing. It's a, I don't know, like it, it's a thing, but negativity, there starts to, at least for my mind, when I say negativity, it's like there starts to be this like, whoa, it's almost like, I don't know if I want to say like with negativity, when I say negativity, I think, like, at f I mean, it's kind of changing in my mind right now, but, so I don't know if that'll be a lasting change, like, but when I first was saying negativity, it, like, it's, like, connected to, like, a person, it's almost like you want to, I don't, I don't know how to, it's, like, connected to, it's almost like it's a like a person, like the person is to blame or the person is doing that or the person is at fault. Like I these aren't exact 
this isn't necessarily perfectly capturing what I'm trying to say. I don't even, I don't know how to capture what I'm trying to say, but like, and for a moment, it kind of like switched in my mind. I don't know if that's going to be like, like a, a switch that'll last in this video or farther, or if it's just like in that moment, but, and that's just my own mind. I feel like that's probably just like a thing with my own mind. I would, I would think different people think of positivity and negativity in maybe different or could at least could think of that in different ways because our minds um like we have different relationships with different things so whatever was happening for me with the word negativity where it was like more the person's fault this hypothetical person whatever or the person's fault, or the person's responsibility, or to like they're like the person's to blame, or a person's I don't know, whatever, something. <laughs> you might kind of get what I'm saying, but that it, I don't know how I'm trying to touch like. I'm trying to touch what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to say it per se. Maybe I got close. But anyway, um, positivity and negativity. It's, it's weird. Why is... But, he, but if I get into, like, whatever it is I'm trying to describe with negativity, that's not... That's just my own personal relationship i i suspect i could be wrong but so i don't know that there's really per se need to dwell on that but negativity is bad negativity is yeah see there is something with negativity because negativity but i don't Negativity. Uh, negativity. It's like a bad. Th thing that you let. That you're like letting. Like you're letting it. Like you're letting. You're letting yourself have a negative perspective. I don't know how, whatever I'm trying to get at, I don't know how much that's me getting at the actual essence of positivity and negativity versus just whatever psychological or mental relationship I have with these words that maybe I was unaware of, like, but... But negative, but it, but I feel like, cause I like, like I keep thinking of the word negativity, and negativity, like just what that word is. Negativity. See the the thing that I'm trying to capture that I'm feeling that I'm wondering if it's like just my own personal relationship. Like, it might actually be that there's actually something that I'm actually like getting at that negativity positivity 
negativity. Hmm. Negativity can like one aspect about negativity is that like it can be like something that you can like uh, why is this so hard like <sighs> negativity positivity negativity positivity negativity negativity Huh, maybe you do need to watch out for negativity. Negativity. Positivity. Like, there's no worry with positivity, but negativity. That's, that's sludge. That's. That's, uh. Perhaps if I, like, just try to talk and as I talk, like, just point out, like, what really feels true or feels kind of true, like, just maybe kind of throw out stuff. And then if I land on something right, I'd be like, ah, oh, that is, that's it. That's actually it. Maybe I'll have to try that approach. So positivity, mm, good, love, hope. There's no trouble with positivity. That. That's not the essence of positivity, but that's something worth knowing. Like, there's no, there's no, like, trouble with positivity. Negativity. Negativity. Person. Fault. Negativity. Negativity. Trapped. Negativity. 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 World. Negativity. World. Trapped, cage, hindered, negativity, lies. Is negativity lies? Per perception, negativity, negativity, positivity. See, we don't even need to talk about positivity because positivity isn't worrisome. Like, but there's something troublesome in negativity. There's like a like something you can like a sludge, like a. Negativity. Negativity. And why is it so, why does this, this word, like, why do I, what, like, what is going, why, why am I saying negativity? And there's this connotation, it is, is what, is what I'm like, like, is what's happening, like, just, like how I've culturally learned to think of that word like like what is what is happening like why is like why is this hard or like what is happening negativity huh. why is negativity such a trap like what why what is even happening like cuz okay so if you as you live as you live your life you're alive i mean you're you're conscious like as if you if there is pre-life work going on where you had a say in how your life would be or anything before you just even if there's an afterlife or if there's reincarnation and you've lived before like you you have your consciousness that is what you have even if there is life to you before, or choice to you before, and maybe there'll be a choice to you after. Maybe you and you, maybe you'll lose this consciousness. Maybe, maybe I mean I don't know, but consciousness, like, like I have my consciousness right now. You have your consciousness right now. Consciousness. So there's your consciousness, and there's you interacting with the world. If nothing else, you have to keep yourself alive. There's other things like maybe you want to reproduce, maybe you you like you need food. Like keeping yourself alive is a thing. But then things that could be called negative 
are things that seem that things that hinder your journey. If we could start getting spiritual, then we could start or start getting like, I guess, spiritual. Um, maybe other things could I mean could be part of being able to see or talk how I'm uh, like thinking of talking. But if we get spiritual, we could say like things that seem bad that because maybe like, for example, this Sunday, like a situation with someone that where like I it like troubled me it like I like it was like it was I wasn't resolved with how things transpired with that person that morning or like how they were like that w it wasn't good Sunday morning but then because of what happened it led like it led to good like it led to like it's kind of good that that happened. Like, I still like I still may not be because I ha it's not like I've touched base with that person. But like, if things would have gone good, the good thing that happened because of the negative thing wouldn't have happened. So, the pro like maybe the thing with negative negativity and positivity or whatever is like consciousness. Your consciousness doesn't cover everything. I like in that in Sunday's example, because of my proximity to the good thing or because it's like within like because like let's let's say that hypothetically, let's say that like I end up accidentally killing someone that would be I could feel so terrible or whatever. But what if that person would have gone on to do a B or C horrible thing and that's how the world flowed? I actually wouldn't get to know that. So I, because my consciousness doesn't cover that. So there are things that are beyond our consciousness. So that's something that we can say. There's different, maybe there's different ways we could go with the talk on positivity and negativity, but that's one way we can go. Is that like, because if negative, something being negative is a perception. But your consciousness doesn't cover everything. I'm not aware of what's going on in Egypt unless the news tells me or something. Or if I had a, some way, some Egypt connection, like a friend or someone or I don't know, something. Maybe a friend or something, but. So maybe I do know. But. Um, I'm just, I'm specific like that. I said, I don't know earlier. And, but I did have an example that I said, like, if you had a friend in Egypt, so I do know. That's why I said that, I think. Um, but, huh. So if your consciousness doesn't cover everything, some people have the idea of a god. Actually, almost every religion, almost every like culture has like religion or a higher power. These are this is a people have different higher power figures, but it's a norm, but it's a like regular thing in different places or different whatever. If there's a higher power. But even if a high, if even if your higher power has connection, if higher powers are real, if God is real, like even if they have like a higher consciousness, who's to say that? Why would they have consciousness of everything? How is that? Or are they the world? Like, what is the nature of God or a God? Like, because even if you made the world, which is what God, a God would do is create. Does that mean they know everything that you would have to be connected to the world? Like God would have to be connected to the world in a way, maybe even a deeper level or, or a deep level. Um, also who's to say just because God would be 
might be connected to a higher consciousness or is a higher consciousness, who's to say that everything is working for good? Like, so if, if in my consciousness, something seems negative or seems bad, like, is it the nature of the world or God that in reality, everything works for good? Like you could maybe trust things to balance out, but I don't know how the, I don't, I don't know how the spiritual world works. I don't know how things work. Like, I don't know how balancing out works. I don't, I don't know how karma works or if karma is even real. I don't, those, these are realms that I don't, oh, I can read books. I can pray. I can reflect, but like there were, I don't, I don't know how things work. But something, but something as far as positive and negative is like, one could break down a situation to see deeper into that situation. So, like, let's say one didn't believe in God, or, or at least didn't put in like a higher consciousness or God's taking care of you or whatnot, whatnot. If something happens to you, you could think deeper about that thing about so like if let's say someone came in this place right now trying to kill me for me part of that could be a good it is a good actually for me that would be a but i can think that way not i don't know how everyone's minds work different people have different, but like for me that would be could would be or could be a th good thing in a few ways one the journey I've been on for like the last two, a year plus or whatever. Part of that journey has included developing fighting styles. And I have been in a fighting situation last year, but I guess the stuff wasn't in me enough that in a scary situation, it didn't come like, like it, like I didn't, I don't even know if I thought of using it. Maybe I did. I don't, I don't remember. Um, and part of like a fight situation, the reality of a fight situation is like what like if you if you have higher tools or whatever, like if you should use them, like if you have a gun, should you use it? If you have a knife, should you use it? Like you like that decision to like do the thing or whether like whether you should or not. Um, but like if a person came and tried to kill and came in here and tried to kill me now, it would be an opportunity to use that or to have practice with the fists of the eternal Ramadan. Other thing is that a few days ago, I was having like, um, thoughts on reflections on like, um, how you could die at any time. Um, feeling like giving up on my YouTube channel, YouTube channel thing might be irrelevant, but, uh, that I was in a place of like, just thinking about the reality of death kind of, or like being friends with death. That would be kind of like that situation in light of my reflection from a couple days ago or a few days ago is like it, it could like could be of service or could like yeah something I don't know <laughs> um, Um, if someone came in here and tried to, but then as far as, is that it for positive? Um, I guess you really, if you take away the spiritual aspect, you really have to learn how to think of your stimuli in multiple ways. Because like, because of like my spiritual upbringing or whatever or my reflections whatever it is that makes me be able to see like oh well or maybe those things just come to my mind because they're I, like maybe because they happened recently like the video was two days ago or a few days ago the fist of the eternal ramadan relevant thing maybe because maybe they can come to my mind because they're relevant or they're recent or something but in reality there's more ways that i could think of for positive 
if someone came and tried to kill me right now in this or in this place, how creative and not creative in like a false way, but like actually seeing this situation in true ways it could disperse. So like, for example, if someone's coming, comes and tries to kill me, at least they're not trying to kill someone else. If someone's coming and trying to kill and kill me, at least I had a reflection a couple of days ago that I'm in a relevant mindset or in a, I've had a thought about death before like this situation. Um, if someone came and tried to kill me, there's maybe the, there's either, either they're just trying more or less, either they're trying to like rob the place or maybe they have issue with me personally. Um, probably not going to be like someone's probably not going to come try it but if they if they did have issue with me then maybe other people have issue in fact other people do have issue with me maybe my death would be my death would be good for certain people uh maybe i mean the pe people that have issue with me i don't know that they want me dead but like and also i like, do it becomes a question of do I give more positive or negative to the world? So, would my death be better or worse for the world? Because I de like, hmm. so that could come. So, and if we want to get on negative, it's like, okay, like there's already stress or concern here, and that would be adding to it. Um, like, there's already stress and concern, like in this apartment or with this apartment or stuff. So like that would add to it. Um, let's see, negative, I could die, someone else could die. Um, and then there's some other stuff that I could think or say that would not, like there's, as far as like comfortability of saying or like comfortability of going to certain places, there's something else I could say that would be out of pocket on the positive. But it'd be like a dark positive, and so. If there can be a dark positive, can there be. If there could be such a thing as a dark positive. But that just has to do with my own comfortability and like whatever. What, what, what's a light negative? Because if a dark positive is something that in reality could like or on a technical could be positive but it feels bad to say a light negative would be something so so a dark positive is something that should be bad but in reality on a technical level or something could be good but i don't want to think that way a light negative would be something that should be good But is actually, but actually is negative. But it'd be weird to think that way. Oh, so a light, ne a light negative would probably be like, maybe that'd be like, oh, it's good that, it's good that he lost his cookie, or no, I mean. That's to be worse than that. Like it's, or like if I like Jupiter's death, that like that gave, like that that did something for my journey. Like to think like that, like something that should, or did I just do a dark positive again? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but um. Maybe I just did a dark positive again, because the first example was something that should be negative, but could be seen as positive. So I think I just did another dark positive. How do you do something that should be good, but you see as, but then you see as a negative? So like, maybe if someone got healed from cancer, like, 
should be good, but you see as a negative as like they should have died because now they're just gonna like have another five years of struggling. Positive and negative, yeah, but uh, these. But yeah, and, and when you're diving deeper into a stimuli or a situation, so actually that's a way to really, that's a way to see things is to, because there's ways that your mind maybe knows how to go with a stimuli or a situation, but to get creative with a situation in truth, like in reality, and to see a, see something in multiple ways, like to kind of, like to see a stimuli or to see a situation and just go at that just see different angles to like ways that your brain doesn't even normally and just see how many different ways you can go with it kind of thing almost but like in truth not just like making up stuff that isn't relevant like things that are actually true that your brain just might not normally go to that's the way to deal with like positivity and negativity or to see or at least that's the way to that's a way to I don't know. That's the way that's a way to do things. That's a good way to like I don't know. Because there's a way that your brain has learned to see certain things and certain pathways of thoughts that you'll kind of regularly or routinely go to. But to take a stimuli, to take a situation and see it in different angles, get creative. Kind of what I did with uh, when I was blocked by someone that I really like was touched by, like the heartfelt girl. There's a series on the heartfelt girl and like when she blocked me that was hard for me but then I did this 